Summary of the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak Death introduces himself as the narrator and describes the three times he saw the book thief. At the beginning of the story, Liesel, her mother, and her older brother Werner are on a train. Werner dies, and Liesel and her mother get off the train to put him to rest. Liesel finds a book in the snow at the funeral called the Grave Digger's Handbook, but she doesn't know how to read. Liesel's mother drops her off in Malching, where she lives with Hans and Rosa Huberman, who are her foster parents. Rosa is loud and rude, but Liesel comes to trust Hans because he is kind and helpful. Liesel has dreams every night about her dead brother, but Hans sits with her and makes her feel better. She meets a boy named Rudy Steiner who looks up to the star Jesse Owens, and they become best friends. Rudy asks Liesel to kiss him all the time, but she always says no. Hans finds Liesel's book, and then he starts teaching her to read in the basement. At the same time, World War II starts, and Malching burns books to honor Hitler's birthday. Liesel takes a book from the burning house. She is sure that the mayor's wife sees her steal it. Rosa does the laundry for many rich people in the town, including the mayor. Soon after the book burning, Liesel has to take the clothes to Ilsa Hermann, who is married to the mayor. Ilsa invites Liesel into her library, and Liesel is amazed by all the books. She comes back often to read. While this is going on, a young Jewish fighter named Max Vandenberg hides for weeks in a storage room. A friend gives him an ID card that was hidden in Hitler's book, Main Kampf. Max goes to Malching, where he meets the Huberman family. Death tells Max that his father Eric saved Hans's life in World War I, and Hans promised to help Max's mother if she ever needed it. Max is let in by the Hubermans, who hide him in the basement, where he starts to think about fighting with Hitler. Max and Liesel both have bad dreams, and they quickly become friends. Max covers the pages of Main Camp with paint and writes a book for Liesel called The Standover Man. Ilsa Hermann quits doing laundry, and Liesel says mean things to her. Later, Liesel comes back with Rudy, and the two of them begin to steal books from Ilsa's library. Max gets sick and goes into a coma, but he comes out of it and makes everyone happy. Members of the Nazi party check the basement to see if it could be a bomb shelter, but they don't see Max hidden there. Ilsa Hermann leaves a note for Liesel in one of the books she has stolen, and Liesel figures out that Ilsa is letting her steal the books. As the war gets worse, an air raid happens in Mulching, and Max's family has to leave him in the basement. When the next raid comes, Liesel reads to the other people in the bunker. On their way to a concentration camp, soldiers march Jewish prisoners through Mulching. Hans feels sorry for an old Jewish man and gives him a piece of bread, which gets him beaten. Max leaves that night because he doesn't want to cause any more trouble for his family. Rudy is picked up by the Gestapo to go to a top Nazi school, but Alex Steiner won't let him go. Hans and Alex will soon be sent to the army. Rudy and Liesel put out bread for the next group of Jews to walk by. Rosa gives Liesel Max's sketchbook, which has a story about the power of words in Max and Liesel's friendship called the Word Shaker. Hans is put on a team in the army that cleans up after bombings, but his bus crashes on the way to work. Hans breaks his leg, so he can go home to get better. During another raid, an allied pilot crashes, and Liesel and Rudy watch him die. More Jewish groups march, and one day Liesel sees Max in one of them. When they find each other, they are both beaten. Liesel gets angry and goes to the mayor's library, where she tears up books. Ilsa Hermann gives Liesel a notebook so that she can write her own story. In the basement, Liesel starts writing a book called The Book Thief. The neighborhood is bombed right after she finishes, while she is still reading it in the basement of her house. Hans, Rosa, Rudy, and everyone else who lived on Himmel Street dies. When people come to save Liesel, she finds Hans's accordion and then the bodies of her parents. She gives Rudy's body a kiss. The book thief is in a trash truck when death comes to save him. Liesel goes home with Ilsa Hermann, but she and Max meet up again later. Liesel moves to Australia, where she grows up and has a family when she is an old lady. 
Death comes to take her soul and shows her the book Thief and tells her that people haunt him. About the author. Marcus Zusak was born and raised in Australia. His mother came from Germany and his father came from Austria, so they told him stories about World War II when he was young. Hans Zusak's father was a house painter, like Hans Huberman. Neither of Zusak's parents spoke English very well, but they made sure their kids read a lot. Zusak decided when he was a kid that he wanted to be a writer. He wrote five books, The Underdog, Fighting Reuben Wolf, When Dogs Cry, The Messenger, and The Book Thief. The Book Thief, which has been translated into more than 30 languages, is by far his most famous book. Zusak lives with his wife and daughter in Sydney. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.